Hey everybody, this is John Stoffer, and I'm here to bring you a little tech tip from StreamingTeacher.com. Today we're going to talk about the undo functions in Mastercam. A lot of computer users are pretty familiar with the concept of undo. You can usually find undo in an edit tab, or you can use Control Z to undo something that you've done in a lot of different programs. Mastercam's no exception. Mastercam also has undo functions, but there's a little more to it than just Control Z or an undo. Let's take a look at the different ways we can undo things in Mastercam. Let's start with the basic undo. The basic undo function is found right up here at the top and it says undo or control Z. The control Z method of undo works for a variety of things including wireframe functions, transform operations, simple solid creation, which is this particular subgroup of the solids tab, surface creation, surface editing, and drafting functions. Let's take a look at how undo works. I'm going to use my wireframe line, create a few lines. Hit the green check. I can use Control Z or this button here to remove the last thing that I did. I can click it again and it will again remove the next item. I can also use this redo button, which is also controlled with Control Y to redo the operations. This also works on simple solids. If I were to create a block, let's give it a one inch height. The undo will also work for that. However, it doesn't work for all of the solid tools. In fact, it only works for this group here. All of these other tools will create history on the solid, which our standard undo function cannot undo history. We'll go over that a little bit more in a second. Let's take a look at some other methods of undo. Let's talk about model prep undo. So here I have a simple block. Let's say I want to adjust the size of this block using model prep. So model prep, I'm going to use push pull and I'm going to drag the square out a little bit and say, okay. So now we have a slightly bigger cube. If I wanted to undo that change, I can go to my solids manager and use this undo button right here. That will undo any model prep changes. This does not work for solid history. I also have a redo function so I can put it back to how I changed it. This particular set of controls is limited to the last 25 model prep changes that have been made to your solid. There is one other thing to remember. If you add any history to this solid by using another function that would give it history, then this function will no longer work. For instance, if I go to solids and I do a constant fillet, along this face and hit the green check, our undo functions are now grayed out. Because we've added history to this model, we can't use this function. Even if I delete this and regen, I still won't be able to use that function. How I just remove that fillet is the way to get rid of features in solids that were created using model history. Next, let's talk about the undelete function. So let's say I created a few items. I've got a couple lines here and let's say I want to delete this one. Now after that, I'm going to create a circle. Now if I wanted to bring that other line back, I could use control Z or undo, but that's going to remove my circle on the first time I use it. And on the second time I use it, I'll have my line back, but my circle is still gone. I'm going to hit control Y twice, put it back to this state. If I want to bring back this entity without messing up anything else I've done in between, I can go to the home tab and choose undelete entity. And that'll bring back the last deleted entity. You can continue using this key until there's no more entities that can be brought back to the screen. All right, let's talk about the last kind of undo. That's toolpath undo. So, on this circle, I already have a contour operation. And right now we're set at a negative half an inch from the circle in our linking parameters. Let's say I needed to change this. I'm going to set this to negative one inch. I'm going to change my retract to positive one inch and I'll turn on my clearance. Hit the green check and regenerate. Now, if I wanted to go back to that last version that I had of the toolpath, Instead of having to remember everything I changed, I can right click, go to undo, 
and choose my most recent change to the toolpath. That brings this dialog box back up with everything set back to the way that it was. This also works on every other page in the parameters, not just the linking parameters. If you made a lot of changes to your toolpath and need to go back, this is the fastest and easiest way to get your toolpath back to the last state it was in. Just hit the green check and regenerate. And now my toolpath is back to that other state. If I right click here and look at my undo list, this is gonna show all the versions of this toolpath that I have made since I've opened this file. This list will continue to grow until you change files or close down Mastercam. If you found this video helpful or interesting, make sure to come over to StreamingTeacher.com for more great Mastercam training content like this.